And in fact, before we get there, maybe we should talk about how throughout human history, people have used all kinds of different ways of measuring the seasons. In the equatorial regions, there tend to be two to four um, different seasons. We could start with just a dry season and a rainy season, but there's sometimes a dry and a, a monsoon season and some other seasons that I'm not very clear about. Um, lots of cultures throughout human history have used six seasonal models to measure, to account for things like when the snow all melts, if you live super far north or something like that. And ecologists have also adopted a six season model. And that might sound silly at first, but I really like it. And I think I'm going to start thinking of the seasons in terms of these six seasons. It kind of gives me more like interest and investment in what's going on in the world outside. And I think it more accurately captures all these little pieces, like the piece I'm in right now. For instance, like I said, it doesn't really feel like winter anymore. I can see birds migrating overhead. We've got all these buds going. We've got bulbs coming up, but it doesn't feel like full-fledged spring yet. The birds aren't all nesting and mating. Uh, there aren't flowers everywhere, that sort of thing. And so I feel like I'm in a period between winter and spring. According to the six season model, I would be in a season called prevernal, which listen to the description of prevernal. It's when birds uh, are migrating back from their winter habitats. It's when buds are swelling and about to break. It kind of perfectly explains what's going on right now. So let's talk about the six season model.